Okay, in this video, we're gonna show you how to use the XDXL 1.0 that just came up. And it's, uh, if you have a workstation, a Bison workstation, it will be pretty simple to do. You have to copy paste two commands and it's gonna launch the web UI so you can start using it. And then later on, we will release another video so where you can fine tune your data. It's gonna be for SXDL, uh, S where you can fine tune your data with your images so you can create any kind of uh, so in a separate video, we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna fine tune the model as well, so you can create images on your own face. Okay, so if you have a workstation, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open the Bison app, and here we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna go to a welcome guide, and we have all the sections, and we're gonna keep adding things here. So this will be automatically updated every time we update or add content to it. So the first thing we're gonna go to SDXL, which is the section that we call it. Uh, training and deploying machine learning projects. And we're gonna use this section here to fine tune or show how to use different models that are coming available, especially the open source ones. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna use the SXL, the SDXL 1.0, and we're gonna download a container. Now, this container is basically uh, built in with PyTorch. And what it has is all the packages and dependencies that you need to run SDXL. And on top of that, we include the model inside the container. It's a little big container. And then you have the, the web UI from Automatic 11 that you can find on GitHub, and but it's all included in one package. So for you, it's one command and you can start using it right away. So after that, you're gonna open a terminal and you're gonna download the container. Now, in my case, this is already installed. That's why it went so fast here. But in your case, what's gonna happen is it's gonna download the container. Just take your time on it. It's like 30 gigabyte, but once that's done, you have the, the, the container run. Then to launch the container, we're gonna pass a couple parameters here paste it on the terminal and basically what's happening here is launching uh the the container with all the gpus available so if you have one gpu it's fine if you have multiple gpus you can do more iterations at the same time and then inside that container there is the, the launch py which is going to launch the web ui and the share which you can remove if you want to run it on your local machine only but if you want to run it uh to share a link with somebody else say on your local network or outside your network then you add that parameter which is uh dash dash and then share so we're gonna click enter, press enter, and then it's gonna download all the packages and installing everything for you. Okay, so now once it's finished, you're gonna see two, two links. The first link is if you wanna open in your local network and your computer that you're working on. And the second one is you can share this one with anyone and then they will have access to uh, the, the, the container. So basically they can create images from anywhere. I'm gonna use that one. And keep in mind that that link is going to be running for its own radio. So it's going to be running like for 72 hours. And after that, the link will expire. So every time you launch the container, it's going to create a new link. And if you let it running, then for 72 hours, it's going to uh, expire. And then you need to run it again. So we're going to select 1024 to give you a better quality image. And we're going to create a prompt. In this case, I'm going to say a cat riding a bike in New York City. Okay, and then you can go more than this. You can do uh, space and then high detail image. And there's a bunch of videos online where you can do a uh, prompt that have different prompt to get a very good quality image. I'm gonna leave it like that. So in the negative prompt, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I always do no blur and no watermarks. Okay, so just with that, I'm gonna click, there's nothing to select here. Everything is fine. Sampling will be 20 steps. And then we're gonna click generate. What's going to happen now is going to load the model. It's going to generate the image. If you check, for example, another terminal, uh, the GPU, for example, we're going to see that the GPU is being used at 100%. So let me create. So, for example, this image is black and white. So I'm going to specify that I don't want uh, black and white. So no black and white images, for example. We're going to generate again. And then I show you the... The GPU, as you can see here, I got an A6000. It's using nine gigabyte, and it's using all the wattage of the GPU. And it's generating pretty fast. As you can see here, down here, it said the time that it took to generate the image. So 6.9 seconds. Now, this is like a cartoonish uh, image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select ultra realistic. So it runs pretty fast on the A6000, but probably on the 49 is gonna run faster. Okay, so that's the image. Now we open it up, you see how good the quality of the image is. Okay, 
So that's pretty much it. If you want to close it, if you want to stop generating images, you have the container running here on the other terminal, which generates all the images, and you're going to create Control C, and then it's going to stop the container. And if I refresh the page, then you don't have access to that uh, interface anymore. Okay, so later on in another video, we're going to fine tune the same model with our own images, our own pictures, so you can create photos of yourself. And then you can download different models that is online available, and you can combine them and use them inside the web UI.